I know I've done something wrong. And I was like, I've got to get help for this. I can't keep living like this. I think I might have tried to kidnap my boyfriend. Second Life is an alternate reality. It's not just a game. You have a virtual life, a virtual job, virtual relationships with other people. You're actually role-playing all aspects of your everyday life. Kimberly started playing Second Life in 2007 as her marriage was falling apart. That was my therapy from the real world. That was my escape. I could easily spend eight hours on a computer playing that game. I would get home from work, go straight to the computer, and stay on about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I basically ignored my children. It was bad. In Second Life, Kimberly creates an idealized version of herself. Life is sugar is instantly addicting. Sugar can do things Kimberly would never dare to do in real life. Like getting a virtual job at a strip club and flirting with men. One of them is an avatar named Leo. He was a cute little lion. In Second Life, I had a club called The Warehouse. That's where I met Kimberly. In real life, Leo is a service technician named Donald who lives in Delaware. He's also neglecting his family in favor of his much sexier virtual life with Kimberly, who he knows only as Sugar. Several months into their online affair, Kimberly starts to think she and Donald might have a real future together. She said she was going to be taking three days off and she was going to come up. Kimberly makes the five-hour drive to Delaware. It's time to meet her virtual lion. Not as Sugar, but as Kimberly. He was good looking. He came in and said, now give me a proper greeting. And that's when we kissed. One thing led to another. We did our thing. I mean, it was nice, but nothing clicked for me. Where are you? Why aren't you answering me? It was like my heart got ripped out of my chest. Where are you? I'm gonna find you. When she can't get through to Donald in the game, she decides to win him back in real life. Come on, girls. Where are we going? We're gonna take a field trip. We're gonna. We're gonna go meet my new friend, okay? Okay. Got me a set of handcuffs. Bought me a BB gun that looked just like a real gun. The following morning, a confident Kimberly cruises into the parking lot of Donald's work. It's almost like you know what you're doing, but you can't stop yourself. Kimberly Jernigan is addicted to the virtual reality game Second Life. When her cyber boyfriend rejects her, she decides to get him back by any means necessary. I was hoping that he would get in the car, we would sit there and talk. I looked up and she had a gun pointed at me. I just want to talk to you. 
Donald, get in the car. He looks at me, looks down. Kimberly, were you crazy? Just get in the car. No. So come on, Donald. And I mean, he books. After she took off, I got a text message from her. I told her flat out. I said, you go home. Don't ever come back up here again. And I blocked her out of my phone and had no conversations with her after that. And I figured she was done. She was gone. End of story. But Kimberly is no longer in control. Sugar wouldn't take no for an answer. I was like, no, if I was Sugar, what would I do? It was like my second life for solid, just like said, oh no. We're going all out. <laughs> When I came in, I had the mail in my hand. And that's when I saw the little red dot on my chest and realized that she was there. I saw what looked like one of those yellow tasers. I booked out and I called 911. She never gets a chance to fire the taser. On the drive back home, Kimberly snaps back to reality. She spots a police car and decides it's finally time to give up the charade. I was like, I think y'all might be looking for me. They was like, why? I said, I think I might have tried to kidnap my boyfriend. I was in the car. That's pretty nice. The officers arrest Kimberly. She's charged with attempted kidnapping and second degree burglary. She serves three and a half years in Delaware's very real women's prison, deprived of her computer. Addicts often have to hit rock bottom to come to terms with their behavior. When she broke into this man's house with a taser, waiting for him to come home, thinking that they were going to live happily ever after, you have to realize that that was clearly a bottom for Kimberly. Would not recommend for people who have a hard time connecting to reality. You could mix real life with second life. You can blur the lines. I'll let Sugar go. She's in retirement. <laughs>